Hey everybody, welcome to our video on finding special folders in Microsoft Access VBA. Recently I did a video on the file system object, and more specifically the folders object within the file system object. And in that video we touched on the special folders that you can get at using the file system object. Unfortunately, the file system object only gives us access to three special folders. But there are actually a lot more than that available to us on a Windows machine. So I decided to do another video to see how we get at those. We use a different object in order to get at those. We use the Windows script host object model to get at the other special folders. So let's take a look at a form that I've built specifically for this. What I have in this form is a combo box and when we select a special folder we want to see then we see that the path to that folder is populated here in this text box. You can see there's quite a few of them here for us to get at. Let's take a look at our code, see how we did this. There's not much to this code as you can see. We've got more comments here than we've got actual code. So we have a choice here on how we want to get at this object model. We can use early binding, which I've done here, okay, where we declare a WSH shell object. I'm going to put it in a variable called object shell. Or we can use late binding, where we create an object and then use the wsscript.createObject method and feed it this string. Now if you're going to use the early binding like I'm using right here, we're going to need a reference to this highlighted object here, the Windows script host object model. Now if you don't want that reference, you can use this syntax right here and it works just fine. So once we've declared our object, which we've done here with the set command, next we get at a special folder by using the object shell dot special folders dot item property and then we feed it a string. Now in this commented code here I'm going to feed it the, the my document string. Now what, what are the strings we feed? These are the strings that this item property takes. I got them up here in the comments for you. There's the full list. Stick any of those in there and that returns a path. It returns a string and what I'm doing here is setting text folder, which is that text box on our form, equal to the path that's being returned to it. Now this is how you would probably use it in your code if you wanted to be able to, let's say, you wanted to save a, a file in your user's My Documents folder. You would just you could just hard code My Documents in here and be done with it. But what I've done on the form over there with my combo box is I wanted to be able to select something in, a, in the combo box and then see that path show up. So what I've done is I've made a table to hold a list of those constants, okay, those strings. And that's in the folder name column here. And then let's put our form and design view really quickly. Here's our combo box, and here is the row source for our combo box. And it's a simple query against that table. Set the folder name from special folders, ordering it by folder name. And then on the on change event, that's what we're doing here. The on change event of our combo box same command object shell special folders dot item and then the value returned by the combo box in there and then there the path goes in our in our uh, text box now, the other way that we can get at these special folders is through the special folders collection and I've got a button here and when we click it it's going to list all the items in that special folders collection over here on the left is the index of the item in the collection and then here, of course, is the path of that item. Back in our code, let's take a look at the code behind that button click. And there it is. There's our command button. And click again, declaring our object, our WSH shell object. I, we're using as an integer. And that's going to be the index number in our collection. We set a reference to our WSH shell object. Clear out our text box. It's going to hold our results. And then we set up a for next loop. For i, our integer equals 0, through the count of items in our collection, minus 1, okay, because we have a 0 based indexed here. So object shell dot special folders, that's the collection. Count tells us how many, of course, items are in the collection. And because we're 0 based, we're going to subtract 1. Then we have very similar syntax from there. And object shell dot special folders, and we're using an index to get at. The item. This returns this returns a string path. 
And then we got some formatting code here, text folders, which is our text box, equals what we already have in our text box, appended to that the item number in our collection, appended to that a colon, a couple spaces, and then appended to that our path. And that's how we're building that string. So we loop through the items in this, in this collection, incrementing automatically our counter. That's all there is to it. So a very simple topic and very easy code to get at these special folders. As usual, I have a link to my blog and the code listing in the description down below. Hope you got something out of this video and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.